Attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance, a full service corporate securities and business transactions law firm. Today is a continuation in a LawCast series talking about FINRA's proposed changes to its examination process and the implementation of the new Securities Industry Essentials Exam or the SIE exam. On March 8, 2017, FINRA filed a proposed rule change with the SEC to adopt amended registration rules and restructure the entry-level qualification examination for registered representatives. The new rules would also eliminate certain examination categories. Today, I am continuing to talk about the proposed consolidation of exams and the elimination of certain exam levels. As part of the consolidation and simplification, there, FINRA introduced the new SIE, which I discussed in a prior law cast in this series. The SIE will test on general securities knowledge, eliminating that portion of testing for specific specialized functions and duties of the registered representative. Under the proposed rules, a person would need to take the SIE as a precondition to taking a specialized knowledge examination. The SIE remains valid for a four-year period. Moreover, although a person is not required to be associated with a member firm to take the SIE, they will be required to be associated with and sponsored by a member firm to take the specialized knowledge exam. The new specialized knowledge exams would eliminate questions on basic industry knowledge covered in the SIE. In addition, FINRA is proposing to reduce the current 16 exams to new exams covering investment company and variable contract products, which is currently the Series 6 exam, general securities representative, the current Series 7 exam, direct participation programs representative, the current Series 22, equity traders, the current Series 55, investment banking representative, the current series 79, private securities offering representative, the current series 82, research analyst, which is the current series 86 and 87, and operations professional, the current series 99. In addition to consolidating certain exam levels, FINRA is proposing to eliminate the following exams options representative, i.e. series 42, corporate securities representative and government securities representative and associated exams, both the series 62 and 72, and order processing assistant, current series 11. FINRA is also considering eliminating the series 17, 37, and 38, which deal with representatives who conduct cross-border foreign business with the UK and Canada. I'm securities attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance and producer of LawCast. Should you have any questions about today's topic, please visit securitieslawblog.com and lawcast.com or contact me directly. Inquiries of a technical nature are always encouraged.